up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel pamela janani earth goddess what is the vibe my beautiful tribe so guys what is up happy saturday um i have been busy i have been busy with a lot of good things that i am working on and i am so so happy about it um i can't wait to um you know share these things with you guys in due time um all in all um if you're not if you're not subscribed to my channel please, please go ahead and do so right now. Support me on this journey that I always say is bigger than your own, okay? So let's get started, all right? Um, the message for this video is the your enemies, our enemies are straight up vultures, okay? They have behaved like vultures before, they behave like vultures now, okay? And by me saying that, they they really, really wanted to eat us alive, okay? They wanted to take everything that we had. They wanted to leave us, they wanted to leave us with nothing, okay? Vultures, they want to eat you down to the core, to, to the bone, right? But what they didn't understand is that they were eating, okay, um, these illusions and these false lies that Satan fed them, okay? Um, God didn't put anything around your enemies or my enemies. He didn't put anything into their head, okay? All the things that they have done to you came from Satan, okay? And when they did these things... It didn't hurt you. It hurt them. It hurt themselves. Okay. So basically they were eating them, their own selves alive. Okay. Satan gave them these illusions and they believed them. All right. Let's keep going here. Um, they were eating rotten, 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 rotten flesh. Okay. They were eating and consuming demons. Okay. Which is why they never change. Okay. Your enemies never change. And this is the thing that you will, this is how, you know, people are, um, surrounded by or in devil energy. Um, because People of God will change, okay? They will change. If, if, if they have done something bad, they will apologize. They will say, I'm sorry. They change. They grow. They evolve. They become more wiser than they were yesterday. But when you see someone that is stagnant, that is still stubborn, evil, um, and, and carrying these wicked ways, holding grudges, these people do not have God inside of them, okay? You cannot have God inside of you and be wicked, okay? And not change and be stagnant and stuck in devil energy, okay? The devil has a hold on your enemies, on our enemies and it is it is something that they are trying to let they're trying to you know get the grip off of them but they can't get the grip off of them because they settled okay they settled in darkness and they get comfy and now it's hard for them to find the light all right let's keep going here um they thought that they were feeding on you okay by 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 ghosting you by by trying to put you down by putting all these lies out there but they were feeding on on rotten flesh okay they were feeding on demonic energy okay and that is why if you look at your enemies or if you see them a month or, or two or down the line they are not going to look the same as as they were when you were in their life okay because they're they're you know the demons are corrupting them okay they're looking old okay they're losing hair they're losing weight or they're gaining weight they're on drugs they're on alcohol they're doing these things that are making them feel comfy and trying to block out the pain but it's actually increasing their pain it's amplifying it and it's making them um self-sabotage okay they're they're self-destruction they're in self-destruction mode all right um when you eat something rotten, you become rotten. Of course, when you when you feed yourself God God um, godly things, okay, you are around godly people. You're around positive people. What happens to you? You start you start to um, shine brighter. You start to feel light. You start to feel you know you start to feel good, positive, and you want to move forward. You want to do good. You want to better the world and better other people. And this is this is how you know that you are around someone, okay? And for you watching, if your life changes abruptly and things start going downhill and you're not happy and you're you're turning to alcohol substances and things like that, something is wrong. You need to hurry up quickly, get away from the people that you are surrounding yourself with because something is wrong. Those people have demonic entities um attached to them, okay? You need to flee from these people, okay? Because if you stay around people and devil demonic energy, they will corrupt you, okay? Whether you like it or not, whether you think you're strong or not, they will corrupt you if you sit around these people, okay? Um, let's keep going here. Your enemies will look old and defeated, okay? The flashy garments that they once had on, okay? You can't, I don't care how many times you get your nails done. I don't, I don't care how many um, times you go have plastic surgery. I don't care how many times you go to the Gucci shop, uh, have on the red bottoms or whatever you drive. I don't care what it is that used to work for you before, okay? Whatever it is that they had on or that they drove or whatever it is, okay, that made them have this false solution to the world will no longer be, okay? Your enemies, Joshi. Your enemies will be seen for who they are, no matter what they have on. They will not be able to lie. They will not be able to hide who they truly are anymore. All right, let's keep going here. Um, the flesh spirit of your enemies will show to everyone, as I said before. Your enemy spirit, Joshua, can you please stop, babe? Joshi. Single mother. 
Your enemy spirit will be surrounded by demons, okay, that they counted on being for you. They counted on... Joshua, can you stop, babe? Okay, let me see that. You want some jelly beans? Okay, can you stop making that noise, please, for me? Your enemy spirit will be surrounded by demons that they counted on being for you. So a lot of these people in these cults and everything, they literally pray. They literally had Ouija boards. They literally had the most, okay, just to bring up demons to surround and harass you. When all they did was bring up demons to surround and harass themselves, okay? That is it. As I said before, that is it, okay? Um, it was an illusion. Satan gave all of our enemies an illusion. They made them think that they would win. They made them think that they would take our inheritance. They made them think that they could make us sick by, by doing all of these spells. You cannot make a woman or a man of God sick by doing spells. Who the do you think you are, right? Who do your enemies, who do our enemies think they are? You cannot put a sick spell on me. They cannot put a sick spell on you. They cannot do it. When they go against people like us. And they try to do these spells to make us sick, to make us ill, to make us not be able to live our purpose and be happy and be fruitful and take care of our kids. They are only doing it to themselves because anybody that tries to put a curse or a hex or a spell or any voodoo or any, any kind on me or my children, it is going to happen to you. You cannot play around with me and, and my kids like that. And collective, you watching tribe, they can't play around with you like that either, okay? So whatever it is that they are trying to send towards you to make you sick, ill, even die, it's going to happen to them, okay? It is going to happen to them they continue to sit and be vultures okay when we are doing nothing but mind our business so let them be vultures let them eat rotten flesh because that is exactly what they will become okay in the spiritual and physical all right let's keep going here I get pumped up, okay, because I'm so tired of these people, these wicked people trying to come at good people who don't even want to entertain them, okay? And for me, I don't wish anything on my enemies but but karma. Okay, yeah, karma. I am not wishing anything. What I can't do anything to my enemies. Okay, I don't do anything to them. I don't even want to. You know, nothing. All right. What I do is I give it up to God. Whatever God sees fit, God sees fit. God thinks that they should be dealing and sitting in what they wanted for me. That is what they will have, and that is exactly what God is doing. God is making everybody okay sit in what they wanted for you. All right, even more. All right, let's keep going here. Um, they thought that they were feeding on you, your energy, your light. They thought that they were getting all of these things from you, okay? And then taking it back to whomever they wanted to take back to. When they took your energy, so when they came around you and you guys, you know, you gave off that good vibe and you, you didn't know whether or not they were not for you, they were eating all of that goodness up and they were pretending like that was who they were when it was not, okay? They took your energy and they gave it to other people. They took your energy and they took it back to Satan. They're energy thieves, all right? Wicked, nasty people. Um... They were crows feeding on roadkill, okay? I love crows, okay? Crows, you know, when you grow up, you think that they're evil, they're wicked, but they're absolutely not, okay? They're birds, and they, they, they get the evil title because of Halloween and whatnot, but they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful birds, okay? And they often do send messages to people, okay? So do not be mad or upset or think that death is upon you if you hear or see crows. It's not true. It was a, an illusion that was brought on by, you know, the world when Halloween, you know, it was associated with Halloween, okay? So crows are beautiful, but they, you know, they feed as any other bird and certain birds, they feed on roadkill. They feed on animals. And this is who your, who our enemies are. They feed on, um, on, on death, on illness, on black magic. Okay. It's disgusting. All right. Let's keep going here. Um, you will witness, not watch. Now listen to me again. You will witness and not watch your enemies fall. Your enemies will fail. You will witness it, but not watch. And what I mean by that is that you guys are going to hear about your enemies falling. You're going to hear about it through a lot of people and some of you are going to witness this by seeing them in the street or your enemies are going to come to you at one point and beg for forgiveness okay because their life is going to go down and it's not going to get better okay it's not going to get better because they are not getting better they're not getting better by coming towards you by correcting what they did wrong okay and so much more okay so you guys are going to witness not watch and when i say you're not going to watch you're not going to be like twiddling your thumbs like oh my gosh i can't wait i can't wait i'm gonna get it my popcorn no okay god's people don't work like that okay we want karma we want justice but we are not going to waste our time and waste our life trying to watch our enemies get it, okay? We're going to move on, right? Um, is that it? The dead feeds off the darkness and God's people feeds off the light. Point blank, period, all right? That is it for this video. So with that being said, guys, my camera keeps like tilting. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and like, bye.